we go, right here in front of me. All right. Right, grumpaholics lg the grumpy panhandle fisherman um just got back in town yesterday and we're gonna try something a little different today actually yeah i got a couple fly rods that i'm gonna set up one set up for shark the other one's gonna be set up for potential anything else probably just throw a clouser on there but today we are gonna bring the Rockway, Okuma Rockway spinning rod and uh, my flying pencil. Yeah. And go it's a little late. I should have been out here earlier, but I was tired from traveling for seven or eight days. I'm out here as you can see at Fort Pickens. There's nobody out here. Um, I see some guys fishing the surf. This morning so I'm wondering I think the water must be clear but um yeah this is my program we're gonna go flying pencil today this thing you can throw this thing about nine miles man and uh, see if there's anything busting top and then I may fish Bayside later with a fly rod that's the plan I'm sticking to it throw that in here for now so um, 20 pound braid, 30 pound shock tippet, scientific anglers, of course, that's what I use. Gonna tie this on with a loop knot, and uh, then we're just gonna go walk over to the beach and see what's going on. Okay. And I'm going monofilament here, I'm not throwing fluorocarbon. I'll clip that. I gotta clip the knots to my LG knot. And that's what we're doing today. My 10 foot rock away. And I'm gonna bring a couple of hardware boxes with me today and some fly stuff. And I'm just gonna go walk the beach. I'll be back. Hopefully we get some fishing action going. Should be uh, something going on. Never know. But I've got my out there backpack, courtesy of Mike Closer in the Vale Valley. It's his company. And then I got my fly gear. All right, LG, the grumpy pan and the fisherman, let's go for a walk. Okay, first cast with the pencil. I think it's foul hook. Oh, we got some ladies out here, it looks like. Look at this. Look at that right there, guys. Check it out. Should have the fly rod out, right? Yeah, I think I need to get the fly rod ready to roll. Oh my goodness gracious. How about that? Oh, 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 got a pop. Oh, there we go, another pop. There we go, fish on. Check it out. Right on, how good is that? School of ladies. Oh, he's gone. Unreal. Yeah, I need to get the fly rod going. How crazy is that? Right in front of me as I walk down here. 
One more cast, then I gotta take a break and rig up my uh, eight weight. Oh, 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 there we go. Fish on, fish on. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Awesome. How good is that? Yeah, that's a big lady. All right, throw that one back. Walked right in on All right, you guys, I just walked down to the beach, caught two ladyfish with the spinning rod. I didn't have my eight, my uh, fly rod rigged up. I'm just gonna throw on a clouser, a big clouser, actually. It was the closest thing I had. And uh, you can see these fish busting down here. I'll leave my stuff here. But lady big school of ladyfish just chowing on bait so we'll just get down here they'll crush this clouser All trust right. me uh ladyfish are out here chowing on the bait so i'm just gonna throw on a clouser minute real quick just getting rigged up they're all over here in front of me get your pocket zipped up I mean, literally, right here. Ladyfish are busting. So good. Watch this. If you've ever caught a ladyfish on the fly rod, it is a ton of fun. Big school down here. Let me get my line managed. get the weeds off of here. But these minnows are hugging up against this sargasm here. That's the deal. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he spit the hook. Spit the hook. And these ladyfish, oh no, he's still on. Or that's another one, potentially. No, he spit the hook. Um, so these ladyfish have these bait fish pinned up against the sargasm here. Oh, boom. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. So just throw in a clouser. Yeah, this is a big lady. Crazy out here right now. Big lady fish. Junk. Just walked right in on him down here. I came down here and the uh, ladyfish were just pounding on these schools of bait. Really small bait fish. I don't know if you can see them here on the edge of the sargasm, which are these weeds. This guy's kind of pissy. And I thought I might've got out here a little late. Oh, he pulled the hook. Saved me the trouble. Again, just throwing a clouser minnow, kind of standard. It's got a chartreuse and white body, a little bit of blue mixed in with it. Wait for them to start busting again. But I mean, that's three hookups in 
three minutes, basically. So I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna continue to look for these schools of ladies that are feeding. When the sun gets higher, I might be able to see something else going on. But for now, we're gonna play this game because it's a lot of fun. So this is like a six through, I got a 10 weight just to be prepared for bigger fish. But you can throw a six weight out here on these fish, which I might try and do uh, next time, maybe tomorrow morning. In the meantime, a little far out, I could reach those with the, the spinning rod, but um, I'd rather throw the fly rod for these fish. See another school out here feeding. Yeah, so the, this weed, you can see right here on the beach, and there's massive schools of minnows right in, like mixed in and on the edge with these weeds. That's what these ladyfish are coming in to feed on. Okay, I'm gonna shut down for now. Here's my other gear. All right, big school of ladies down here feeding. I don't have to run, but I'm gonna run. Water's a little clearer right here. And again, I'm just throwing a clouser, which I just tangled up running. Done that a bunch of times in my life. When these fish are in a frenzy like this, you just get the fly out there. If you're not all knotted up like I am right now. Check them out. All right, this won't take long. Again, these lady fish have these bait, the bait fish pinned up against the beach. Got a few out here, let's. See if we can wake one of these fish up. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It is on this morning, folks. Everybody's complaining about the surf. Yeah. Poor man's tarping. All day long on the fly rod. This is like the fifth one I've hooked in uh, 10 minutes. Again, you can uh, find me, www.panhandle fly fishing charters. Come on out on a sweet morning like this. Nobody out here. Have the whole place to yourself. And if it's happening like it is, lady fish all day. Look at that. And like I said, all you need is a clouser minnow, folks. Here we go. Thank you, mister. That's good cut bait, by the way, if you want to go that route. See if I can find this school over here that was feeding. But they are thick this morning. So much fun to catch on the fly rod. Your, uh, your surf fishermen in general find them to be a nuisance. For me, so, look at that. Oh, how good is that? Watch this. Minnows running for their lives. Oh, oh. <laughs> right on the beach. How good is that? Come on, come on, right in front of me, eat it. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he bumped it. That was awesome. So I'm just casting 20 to 30 feet to these fish. Clouds are minnow. You don't need any more than that. Oh, boom, boom, there he was, there he was, there he was, come on. Bam, he's there. Oh, I think he broke me off. Sure enough. All right, plus I got a big knot in my fly line. I'll be back.